Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today we're going to discuss, is the Starship Discovery, is it a battle cruiser? Is this some type of, uh, should this be, or will it be classified as a battleship? And guys, uh, you know, if we think a little bit about naval history, uh, you know, many uh, vessels uh, that make up the Navy are distinguished into certain classes. You might have your, your heavy aircraft carriers. Then you may have your destroyers or battleships. Then you might have like smaller reconnaissance or research and uh, 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 vessels or uh, uh, extra extraction vessels. Um, uh, what's the uh, what's the word for it when you're trying to recover people who are lost, uh, lost at sea, things like that? Uh, it'll come to me in a second, guys. It's kind of early in the morning for me. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, also I just want to quickly say I love the look of the, uh, you know, it, it's been some changes, obviously. We have like this opening around the hull of the ship, around the, uh, sa the sa saucer component of the ship. And some have theorized, you know, as we've seen in other Star Treks, that this may represent some type of way for the saucer uh, portion of the ship separate from the rest of the vessel and kind of be like a, a lifeboat floating out in space. And that and that could very well be the case. We've seen that done uh, with the, uh, you know, with the uh, in Star Trek The Next Generation uh, with their vessel. And uh, very cool feature. Uh, I, I like it, guys. Uh, and I just like this 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 entire ship. But uh, you know, as you as I recall earlier, when we when everybody was against the design of this ship, I was on board. I said, no, guys, this 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 is gonna probably change, and it's gonna get a little a great deal better. And uh, where they pretty much still kept the basic shape of it, but there's just these little things they've done to uh, change the look of the ship. But due to the structural soundness of this ship, which I think makes a great deal of sense for uh, a, a spaceship, uh, not only it being structurally sound uh, to take abuse, but uh, the aerodynamic shape of it. It's like a diamond. And uh, many aerospace engineers would agree that a diamond type shape uh, would make a, a great deal more sense as a, as, as a space vehicle. Uh, so like that part about it, um, there, there, uh, is also some, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, talk about the, the deflector dish. It has this spiral thing coming out of it, out of the deflector disc, and, uh, uh looks interesting. Uh, I wish I can get a close up on it, but, uh, I, I like it. I like the look of that too. It's something... Uh, that'll add more intrigue to what we're getting with the with the uh, you know the upcoming series and the, and the look of the ship. You can also see the decks below the the wings of the um, if you will <laughs> of the of the vessel. Some decks above, and uh, you know the bridge decks and things like that. Uh, also, kind of looks like a phaser. What used to be in the old, you know, uh, Star Trek's the, the phaser banks, you know, with, you know, with fire from the bottom in the original series. So I'm not sure if they're going to be going with that, uh, you know, in this Star Trek. But I think it looks great, guys. But getting back to the various different vessels, uh, just the way they've set this up with the Star Trek Discovery, it's, it's coming out of this, uh, you know, we get the scene where it's coming out of this asteroid where it's, it looks like it's kind of a base that's kind of an isolated base. It looks like it might be an outpost of some sort. Uh, it looks like it might be a good location to engage enemies for enemy attacks and things like that. And just the way this ship looks, it doesn't look like your standard research Star Trek ship, does it? Uh, it looks like it's uh, it's good to maneuver in this. It looks like it would be good to engage uh, another uh, ship 
more so better than some of the other Star Trek ships we've seen. And so that's why I think this might be classed as a battleship. Now, we've seen many different variations of um, vessels, um, you know, in, uh, uh, throughout the Star Trek series and universe. Uh, I remember in the Wrath of Khan, um, you know, one of my favorites, of course, they, the vessel, and I can't remember its name, but the vessel they were using when they, when they first encountered Khan, uh, it was a type of uh, scientific vessel, uh, research vessel. So this wasn't a vessel really, uh, you know, fit for, you know, any kind of battle or anything. It was just for exploration. And, um... Uh, uh, you know things like that, and in the word I was trying to think of earlier with the uh, with naval vessels, I guess they would be recovery vessels, like you sent out to recover uh, other ships, or you know rec uh, recover uh, uh, rescue or search and rescue. I'm sorry, that's what I was. That's the word I was I was looking for. Search and rescue vessels and vehicles, but this was like a scientific vessel. Uh, you know, we got in the Wrath of Khan, and we've got many variations of these ships. And the reason that's important, guys, is just to distinguish, just like in the Navy or any, uh, you know, uh, you know, fleet uh, set up this way, you're going to have different classifications of uh, uh, starships that do various things. And I, I'm going with this might be a battleship. Also, if, if Captain Lorca is the captain of the Discovery, which it seems he may very well be. He looks like a militant capable commander. This is like a ship they send to engage an enemy, perhaps the Klingons. But anyway, guys, I like everything I'm seeing with this ship. Uh, I am excited about the series. Let me know what you all think. Let me all know what you think about this ship. Is it, uh, do you think it's going to be like a battleship? Uh, you know, pretty much just fit for that purpose. Uh, also, I just want to quickly mention, too, a lot of things we are seeing about this Star Trek series, it does feel very J.J. Abramish, and uh, you know we've gotten scenes uh, specifically with uh, uh, Captain Yao and um, um, Agent, um, uh, the, the character played by Sh Shanika Martin Green, uh, the Lieutenant Commander. Her name escapes me for some reason at this point. I'm going to get it down, but her character. Uh, both of them are are um, show with battle gear on, phasers, and a um, uh, you know uh, basically uh, like a uh, you know protective cavalier vest or something like that, some type of you know protection, um, you know. And uh, uh, so this just has a very militant feel to it. You know, it's not like your typical Star Trek where it's a lot of exploration and research. Looks like they're going to be beaming down to a situation where there is going to be some danger so this feels very militant looks very militant the ships look very hard angle like military vessels we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen but anyway guys comment let me know what you all think about uh the look of the ship and if you think it's going to be a battle vessel uh guys if you like content like this don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time take care.